Hello, traders. Welcome to TradingWithBill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Thailand. It is 50-50. If I look to the right over the water, it's sunny. If I look to the left over the land, it's cloudy. <laughs> that is a typical weatherman's forecast. 50-50. It might rain. It might not. <laughs> traders, good to be with you on this Wednesday, August 5th. And uh, yeah, what, are we, what time are we at here? 6.37 a.m. in Thailand. That would be 19.37 on a Tuesday night on Wall Street. Traders, good to be with you. Like I said, let's take a look. Dollar index 95.37, staying above that uh, 95. We like to see that. I see nobody's on a holiday today. So let me just mention this yesterday. Very interesting day. Basically came out of the holiday with a bang. Uh, movement in the markets, beautiful, up, down, all around. But the key thing that I saw yesterday, and I miss it because I was not sitting at my charts, was the move started 90 minutes before the London Open. <laughs> I was like a half hour late. And I come to my charts and all the, all the dollar pairs got these big red candles. <laughs> yeah, the move happened like 90 minutes before the opening. Just, you know, then I was, you know, now I'm late because now I'm looking at charts. I'm saying, well... Okay, now it's going to come back. You know, it's going to give me a retrace. We'll go. Didn't happen. And just just move. But nice moves. I'm really happy to see these moves in the markets. Um, you know, that's what we want to see. And I was glad to see that after a long summer break that we came out of the out of the break with a big bang and we're up and running. Uh, it was really nice. Really nice. I actually stood in front of my, stayed in front of my charts till uh, 10 p.m. my time, which would have been uh, 11 a.m. Um, on Wall Street. So I was at my charts a long day yesterday. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really enjoy it. All right. So uh, what do we got? We got Aussie data coming out. And it uh, looks like GDP quarter on quarter, year on year for the Aussie. China's got Gaxon Services PMI. Uh, Spanish Services PMI coming out of Spain. German Services PMI out of Germany. Services PMI out of the pound. ECB's, uh, somebody speaks, who cares? Um, let's see, what do we got out of the U.S.? Exports, imports. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the CAD has an interest rate decision today, um, actually 30 minutes uh, after the U.S. Open. So that's what's happening there. So that looks like that's about it for data-wise today. Let's get right to it. Take a look at what happened in uh, the U.S. session last night, or for some of you, um, this, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so here we go. Let's take a look at good old CL, <laughs> oil. <laughs> now this overshot, by the way, it's almost made, did it make 72? It says 71.44. I heard um, somebody say it hit that 72 mark. But this, this oil, what did I tell you yesterday? It's at 70. Look to sell it. Look to sell it. It's on the down move. Going back to 65, 66. <laughs> it's been in this range for so long, it's like pretty easy to detect. Dollar index on this um, chart. This is Think of Swim trading platform from TD Ameritrade. And uh, we've got 95.41 on the dollar index. Gold is pretty much flat. It's just sideways. Really not a lot of movement in gold for the last three trading days. Uh, the VIX is up to 13, um, 16, 13, 16. So, you know, we'd like to see it higher. Should should start to move now, get a little up there, get moving. Uh, ES's was pretty much sideways uh, for the last, uh, for yesterday. It looks like today we're starting on a red candle. And then, of course, we got the Euro futures. I don't know. There's not really much to say about the Euro. I mean, just sell. <laughs> what? There's not, you know, there's nothing... As long as the dollar index is up, just keep selling it. Keep selling the euro. You know, that's just sell it. <laughs> Might get a bounce here or something, but you know, got this uh, support at one point fifteen forty somewhere in there, and uh, we'll just keep selling. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, good stuff. All right, let's get to some charts. Let's get to some charts. So let's uh, we'll go around the horn here. Pretty active day yesterday. So here was the start, right? Doop, 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 right? This just 
rumbles its way down here, right? Comes back down, then it went back up. But we're in a nice area now. I mean, really, if you wanted to, you know, this isn't a bad spot to sell it, right? Uh, 1580, uh, somewhere in here. Um, I, yeah, this isn't a bad spot to sell. You want to wait for this to get underneath that um, 10 EMA, and then we'll just take it down, to, you know, take it down to, I don't know, 1540, somewhere in there, 1550, 1540, and just take it back down. Um, if we get, you know, if we get the pullback, which, you know, I always want to see a pullback come back, it'd be nice to get a nice pullback up to that resistance level right there. And maybe we can get a sell at 1615 um, and then just wait for it to go down and close below that uh, 1590 area, right? You want to close below that 1590, just to make sure it's not going to continue to the to the upside, and the continuation to the upside would be that euro, I mean, the, euro, the 200 exponential moving average. Uh, you know, we'd like to see it pull back up to there, but that's a that's a pretty far ways to go. So, you know, looking at intraday right now, trade. You know, you're looking to sell this euro. You know, whether it's in Asia or whether we we wait till the London Open. Make sure you're funny your charts about an hour before, though. <laughs> you might miss it like I did yesterday. Um, yeah, it was it was a great day yesterday. I, I have. I didn't get a I didn't get a trade, but I was really excited to watch the markets. It was a great day, really great. Take a look at the pound. You know these pairs are like all the same thing, right? Here we are, the ten, the fifty five. What are we looking for? Let's just continue to the downside. You know, sure we'd like to. You know, maybe it'll fib a little bit, maybe pop up a little bit, and then come back down. It's not going to go very far. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be taking a trade to the upside on either the euro or the pound. I'm looking to sell this, right? We're looking to sell this. So you could say, well, why don't we just um, do something like that, stick a fib on there, right? And, you know, you're looking for the 618 here, and we can take it to the downside, right? Just 618. That'd be a nice move, right? And uh, we'll take it to the downside. That's your next resistance area. And take it. But, you know, I only give that about a 3 out of 10 that that's going to be the way it's going to work. Oh, wow. I didn't even see this little guy over here. I'm going to stick him over there somewhere. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not convinced that that's the way it's going to work. I, I just think this is just going to continue to go to the down. I mean, just continue its movement to the downside. All right. Uh, Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. Remember, I spoke about this. This pair was going to do this. This, this was uh, was where was that move? They had data come out right, and it shot up somewhere, and then it basically came back down. But this Ozzy now is in a good spot. It's already fib this. You know, if you fib this, this has already done what it's supposed to do. So we are definitely in. Come on. There we go. No, that's not what I want. Sorry. Let's try this again. All right, yeah, so here's the swing. So we'll take this from here to here. We'll swing there, right? So here we are. We're, we're basically between the 50 and the 618, right? So you come up to the 618 here, which is significant. If you look left of the chart, and we're looking to sell this, right? And all I did was I just fib the current swing. That's it. And, and here we are. So we're in a spot that we would want to take this to the downside. Another selling opportunity here on the on the Oz, uh, on the Aussie, right? Why does it say the euro? Did I flip a chart here? I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong chart, folks. But the analysis is the same. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. This was yesterday. So this was the move. I knew I was. I knew it wasn't going crazy. Well, maybe I am. This was the move yesterday. So, look at this. This was data. Boom. Flies it to the upside. I'm saying, this is a great move. We're going to come up to this 200 exponential moving average, and we're going to take it back down. Great move, right? No, 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 no. You know, what was my comment yesterday? When you have data, price jumps and spikes, does whatever it's going to do. It always comes back to the mean. Oh, yeah, it came back to the mean, all right? It dumped. Okay, it absolutely dumped. And this started... These three candles was before London Open. Here you go. This was this candle. This candle was London Open. Comes down, and now for the rest of the day, it goes sideways. <laughs> it 
it is what it is, but that's exactly what happened. It was, it was, it was pretty, remember this happened very early. I think this was, uh, it was 8.30 my time, so it would have been 9.30, um, 21.30 on Wall Street, right? So this came out early, and then by London, boom, we're in it, you know, here we go. Something like that, maybe it was 10.30, I'm not sure, somewhere in there. And this just took off. You know, just <laughs> so what are you going to do here? I mean, that's what we all want to know. What are, what are we going to do here? Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all in favor of this move here, right? I'm in favor of this move here. You got the 200 right there. You know, this to me looks like, you know, let's see if we can get it over here somewhere. Somewhere in that area, that 70... That 7330, 7330 uh, area looks really nice. If you get to the 7300, you got some pips in the pit bank. You're at break even. You know, you're not going to, the worst is you're going to get out of that break even. If you're lucky, it goes right through uh, that 7200 uh, area and just continues to the downside. Unfortunately, I don't think that, you know, what I think, who cares what I think. But what, what happens, you know, this is just so bearish. It's just, you know, especially just looking at this chart, it's just pounding to the downside. But maybe we'll get a zap to the upside. This will come back down, you know, again, and, and, and that would be a great thing. You know, I don't like selling at support, folks. This is selling at support, right? This is really not where I want to sell. I, I really want to see this pull back and give us some kind of room. Um, but, you know, we've seen it over and over again in this chart that this just goes and continues to fall and goes and continues to fall. I mean, look at this. Look at this waterfall, right? This move right here, right? Just bang to the downside. This continues over and over to the downside, right? So the opportunity is we need to get in the trade. That's 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 always the fun part. Then look at our Kiwi. Another pair just took off 90 minutes before the European Open and went sideways for the, you know, and then that's it. Went sideways for the rest of the day. Um, so... This just is going to do what it's going to do. Again, what do we want to do, right? What, what, what's, what's our plan, right? Yeah, our plan is, you know, we'd like to see this up here somewhere. Or you can, you can fib it, right? Fib it, fib it, fib it, right? All right, we'll fib it there, right? Maybe we can come up to the 618 or somewhere in there. But this is a wide open space here, folks. This is a wide open space. You'd love to see this shoot up and come back down in this wide open space. There's nothing there, nothing left of the chart to get in your way. We'll see what happens uh, come time to play, right? Yeah. I think the um, Ikimuku yesterday did really well. Here's, I won't open all these charts just because of time. But, you know, you just take a look at this, right? This retests up to this cloud here. Boom, to the downside. You're not out of this trade. You know, if I want to saw this big green candle, a doji and another green, you're out, right? You don't wait for it to come up to the cloud. Unless you're going to reverse your trade and go to the upside, up to the cloud. Now, right, the euro's in the cloud. So, what do, you know, what's your next play? Well, if it goes above the cloud and closes, you're going to continue to buy it on an Ikimuku chart. Or I'm looking for it to break through the cloud to the downside and we'll sell it. The pound, yeah, she's in the cloud sideways. I mean, look at how small these candles are, right? Just look at how tiny these candles are. They're not doing anything, right? They just, just leave them, leave them, leave them be. Uh, Aussie, same thing, sideways, right? Underneath the cloud, it's a bearish, uh, you know, bearish signal saying we want to sell this. Maybe this will come into the cloud and then continue to the downside. Like we said, if it doesn't go above the cloud, it's still a bearish move for us. All right. Of course, that data yesterday, right? These people are freaking out, right? Boom, data comes out. This goes all the way up there. You know, they probably, they might have been out. They might have got stopped out there, right? But this just shoots up, comes back down, right? Look at that baby. Look at that nice evening star. Well, not really. That's not a full candle. Okay, close. Close, but not a solid evening star. Anyhow, comes up, shoots up, doji, red candle, boom, all the way back down she goes. But you had to be in front of your charts, and this was before London opened. Uh, Kiwi, sideways. Nothing going on with the Kiwi inside the clock. Top-down analysis chart. 
don't see much there. Uh, what are we on here? The Aussie, you know, it, it, the, I think, you know, <laughs> definitely says it's bearish, right? <laughs> Daily, four hour, one hour, Ikimuku, bearish, right? You know, that's, but let's take a look at something that we haven't looked at, um, the Euro Yen. So here's the Euro Yen, Delhi, right? It's bearish, has like almost two weeks of up here. We're at the 200. This, you know, on a daily chart, comes, bounces, not off it, but close to it, comes back down. Now it's on the 10. The four hour chart's in a mess here. You know, it's convergence, right? We got the 200, the 55, and the 10 all in one spot. The current price candle is above all of that mess. So is it going to continue to the upside? If we take a look at the one hour chart on the Ikimuku or inside the cloud, which tells us there's no trade. So that's my, that's my uh, say for today. It's interesting. It, traders, this is good. This is, this is a good thing. We're starting off this, after the summer, you know, moves. Was, yesterday just opened the, the, you know, opened up with a bang. It was really good to see. Like I said, I, I missed those moves. I wasn't in front of my charts an hour and a half to two hours before the London Open. But at least we're seeing some nice movement. We are seeing some nice movement. The other point is, when we saw this movement, we also saw that after the movement was over, they went sideways for a long time, right? Really, even into New York, they were just sideways. Nothing happened. Um, so, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Jerry, thanks for being with me today. We will see you tomorrow morning in Asia. Jerry, as always, remember to trade smart, not hard. We'll catch you tomorrow morning. Take care, my friends. Have a great day and have some fun. See you now.